There are several ways to improve what we eat and most importantly how our food is grown using bio to digital technologies. Hi, my name is Daria Baran. I am the co-founder and chief engineer at Red Sea. I am a material scientist and a chemist, and my passion is about renewable energy resources and their sustainable production. And my role at Red Sea is breaking the energy nexus. For this, we have developed a heat blocking roof called IRIS. It actually blocks the near infrared light entering the greenhouse and allows a more energy and water efficient environment for the plants. Recently, we have received Agriculture Engineers AE50 and Davidson Awards in the US for our IRIS heat blocking roof material for greenhouses. And we combine this technology with our smart monitoring system Cortex, which we developed in our company to make data affordable and accessible to growers at the moment in seven countries and we would like to grow globally. It is estimated that world need to produce 50% more food by 2050. And yet agriculture uses 70% of the fresh water today. And in hot climates, it can go up to 90%. Food energy water nexus has existed in agriculture and using technologies we can break that nexus and grow food locally and reduce the air miles and sea miles on every kilogram of crop produced. By developing sustainable technologies as we do at Red Sea today, we can reduce the environmental footprints and grow food locally, extend the growing season towards the summer months, even in the harshest climates. There are several ways to improve what we eat and most importantly, how our food is grown using bio to digital technologies. And we at Red Sea have taken the approach to tackle our current food production system and make that better. The technologies we're developing today dramatically increase the sustainability of our current food production and thus making better food for people around the world. The future of food technology will be doing more with less, while it's plant science to improve plant yield, supply chain improvements or material solutions to reduce the resources that we use, it will definitely be about increasing sustainability. Because increasing sustainability will be increasing the food security in this region. Take where we live, Saudi Arabia. If we can grow food locally, then we can import less and reduce the environmental footprint. And thus we can have um, food security for millions of millions of people. We are developing technologies faster than ever before, and I'm glad food sector is also benefiting from that. So I think any technology that is aimed towards food waste is of high importance. To see that how much resources, effort and passion that we put to grow our food, it is so sad that it's going to waste. So it's very important to use our technologies towards this food waste. Apart from that, I think supply chain improvements and traceability of our food using QR codes and embedded into blockchain and so on would be very, very important in the future. And um, biological and material solutions, again, to improve the shelf life of our food is very critical. And lastly, if you go to cities today, you will see a lot of food is packaged in supermarkets. And to find renewable and sustainable packaging for our food sector will be very, very important again in today and also in the near future. We have women in tech. I am a woman in tech. I think we just need to make them more visible so that others can see a path for their own careers and see what is possible. And I think in general, we need more people in tech. So today we are developing technologies faster than ever before, but we're hit by global challenges, climate change, global crisis, increased population are problems that we need to come collectively to find solutions for. So supporting women, as well as supporting STEM education, we can create these solutions together. 
And access to food is a human right. So using technologies all together, we can create these solutions for our generation without waiting the future generation.